Let me explain to you how the system works. So the first thing is they want us to be in jobs, J-O-Bs, because there they can transduce our most valuable resource, which is our time on the planet, our effort, but our time on the planet. They can take that non-renewable resource, by the way, and transduce it into a debt instrument, Federal Reserve notes, things worth, they're not actually worth nothing. They're actually debt instruments. They're IOUs. And the rate of exchange for our time is so low, such that they can make a great deal of profit off of leveraging our time so that the companies make money and we make very little. Let me explain to you how the system works. So the first thing, let me explain to you how the system works. So the first thing is they want us to be in jobs, J-O-Bs, because there they can transduce our most valuable resource, which is our time on the planet, our effort, but our time on the planet. They can take that non-renewable resource, by the way, and transduce it into a debt instrument, Federal Reserve notes, things worth, they're not actually worth nothing. They're actually debt instruments. They're IOUs. And the rate of exchange for our time is so low, such that they can make a great deal of profit off of leveraging our time so that the companies make money and we make very little for what our time is really worth. Then do they pay you your full measure? No, they take half of it out as withholding on taxes that are unconstitutionally levied against us to take away even more of that labor transduced into worthless units, only to return it over a year later after inflation has made it even less valuable. Then we spend what's left and have to pay an additional sales tax, seven, 10, eight, nine, 10%. And one of my favorites is that even before we get those dollars, they take our money and put it aside for a retire in an IRA or a 401k. And we think that someday in the future, the IRS will honor its word and that we'll get that money back without tax. And the IRS has stated plainly that they'll change those rules on a whim, even though they said they can't be changed. Even if they did honor their word, by the time you get it back, it won't have even made up the value that inflation was degrading it in the first place and you've lost money. You might as well have just taken the tax hit. And then the piece de résistance, <laughs> is that media cons us in to thinking that we can have the riches of avarice by putting what's left of our money after all the expenses and taxes into a market that is designed to take our money and recycle it. And the best part about that is that we can't really deduct those losses more than $3,000 a year, and we will take up to 40% tax hit on the capital gains. Oh yes, and the more money you make, the more it's taxed. Does this seem like a fair system to you? Like, let me explain to you how the